Hi everyone, welcome back to Dang and Rampa. Man, I hope no one got mad that I decided to hang out with Mondo. Um, because I really wanted to, and I, I'm actually surprised that we still have some more free time. I feel like we've had so many. Maybe that's how some of these chapters go? Like, maybe you just get a, a whole bunch of time where you can just spend with whoever you want for a while, even though there's like technically a story going on that you need to figure out? I don't know. But I'm gonna go see if I can hang out with him one more time. I wasn't sure in the last one if I should or not, but um... I think someone gave me a small hint that says it's actually more than three. So they said you'll know if you look in the report card. And I don't think I know yet, so... Who's where? Everyone's everywhere. Oh, you're in the laundry room. With Chihiro. Again. Oh. Well. Time to interrupt. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not jealous or anything. It's totally fine. I'm absolutely not jealous in any way, shape, or form. Right, Mondo? Mondo? Okay. What? You want something? What? Should I hang out with Mondo for a while? Yeah. Hey. You want to chill with me, huh? Gotcha. I sure do. Piece of shit. You want to throw down? Let's dance, shitbird. <laughs> okay, I gotta change my name now to Shitbird. I think my name is still King Sandy Butt from Banjo Kazooie. Probably by this time, but whatever. It's fine. I had a very exciting time with Mondo. Oh! Oh! Well, I'm glad I decided to do this. I love exciting times. Mondo and I grew a little closer today. Would you like to give Mondo a present? Gosh, what do I even have? I think a lot of people have already told me that I kind of messed up on the presents, that I should have just gone for like one coin each, even if I got repeats, because I guess apparently um, a lot of these people like some of the same things, so having more than one of something is not bad. Not necessarily, anyway. Um, what would he like? Don't know, I've already given him that. Probably doesn't want a ring. That's kind of like a... I don't know. I don't know, I got a Hope's Peak ring, you want that? I want a watch? What else do I've got? Gave him that already, and I think he liked that. What about Shears? He's got like that crazy hair, right? Like he would want to do his own... No? I don't know. I don't know what I should give him. It's either, I think it's between like the, the ring or or the Shears. I feel like he would want to do his hair. It's so, it's so well done already. Let's try it. Seriously? You don't mind? No, I don't mind, dude. Take it. As is, I mean, you're, you know, man to man. I can't give you a diamond ring. Maybe that would look a little bit weird, but I can give you this. Hell yeah. You're a hell of a guy, Makoto. I get the impression that he liked it. That's good. Yo. Yo, Makoto, could you come with me for a second? Huh? Where are we going? Why? No, my room. I want to talk to you. Oh. <laughs> Guys, it's happening. All it took was the ring. I'm so dumb. Should have given him that in the first place. In your room? Hey. Just come with me. Uh, all right. All right, Makoto, don't freak out. It's okay. Uh, okay. Come on, deep breath, boy. We can get through this. Mondo dragged me to his room. Oh. <laughs> Guys, <laughs> liking this already. Um, oh. Oh, wow. Look at his room. He's got a bunch of stuff. He's got tapestry, and it looks like some hair products, of course. See, maybe the shears would have been a better idea. I don't know. What's wrong, Mondo? You all right? Yo, listen. Can I talk to you about something important? Yeah. Important? Yo. Yeah, it's kind of cheesy, but... There isn't really anyone else here I can talk to about this kind of stuff. Yeah, dude, what is it? I'll try to help. I, I can't show weakness in front of my classmates, and uh, I never had a friend on the same level as me. Oh, that's okay. Do you mind? Yeah, I mean, if you're okay talking to me. That's true. Listen, do you like being a high schooler? That's a weird question. It's kind of a loaded question too, right? Because I think if you ask any high schooler, they're probably like, hell no, high school sucks. But then you get older and you look back on it and you're like, high school really wasn't that bad. I think that's pretty normal for everybody. Huh? Well, sure, it's fun, but why are you asking that out of the blue like this? Yo. Uh, I like it too, you know. I like screwing around with my friends and stuff. Whenever I get to go out and run wild with my crazy diamond crew, it's such a goddamn rush. Yeah, but that doesn't have anything to do with high school. You could probably do that at any point. I mean, sure, there's a shit ton of pressure to build up the gang and everything, but still. Getting to hang out with them was the fucking best, man. Yeah. Oh, I've been thinking a lot lately. What's gonna happen when I'm done with high school? 
Maybe you should think about getting out of here first. Everyone in the Crazy Diamonds is gonna graduate. Ugh, I gave everything to them. What do I do then? I I'm not smart like the rest of you. Oh, Mondo, don't say that. There's all different kinds of smarts. College? Ugh, not a chance. I gotta get a job, right? I... I just... I feel like maybe I've already done whatever I'm gonna do in life. Maybe I'm maxed out. No, don't say that. Everybody has, like, different talents, dude. I'm sure you've got something you can do. It's like... I'm empty now, I don't know. I can't figure out how to say it. Haven't we all felt this way at some point or another? I know I have. The point is, that's how big of a part of my life the Crazy Diamonds has been. So, when I think about not having that around anymore... Do you have to leave them when you graduate? Can't you stay with them? I get scared. It's okay, friend. Maybe that's why I came here in the first place. To run away. To run away from the fear. Mondo. That's true. Dad, maybe this is my punishment for everything up till now. Maybe I'm being punished for just doing whatever I felt all my life. I don't think that's what this is. I think you're lucky to have something you're so passionate about. Being able to get into something that much? Well, I'm sure that'll be useful later on in life. That's true. Don't don't feel bad, Mondo. Ah, shit, Makoto. You make me want to put on a suit or some shit? <laughs> maybe. I mean, if you're asking me what I think. Yo. Ah, uh, maybe you're right, though. Maybe having as much fun as I did means I'll be able to dedicate myself to working hard from now on. Hell yeah. You know, when I think about it, maybe it won't be all that bad. There you go. Maybe I'm even starting to look forward to the idea of working. Ah, uh, just a little. Come on, a working man is, is a real man. And I'll bet you you could still go out with bikers, too. What kind of job would you want to get? Yo. Yo, I want to be a carpenter for sure. <laughs> That's a good job. I figure I've done such a good job of busting shit apart. I'm probably good at building it, too. Isn't he sweet? Bless. What? Just watch. I'm what? gonna become the best carpenter you've ever seen. I hope so, friend. Well, it's you. I'm sure you can do it. Of <laughs> course. That means we gotta get out of here first. We do have to do that. Well, as long as we work hard and don't give up. Hey. Yeah. You're right. I'm glad I got to talk to Mondo like this. I feel like I've come to understand Mondo a lot better. I think we finally become friends in the truest sense of the world. Wow, look at all- I love his room. So much stuff in it. Oh, I got an achievement! Rebel without a high school degree. <laughs> I get it. Rebel without a cause reference. That's great. Your maximum number of skill points has increased. Look at you go. We've done it. Was that the end then? Was that like the highest achievement you can get with a person? I talked with Mondo a little bit longer then went back to my room. Mondo's great. I really like him. Well, I really like this aspect of getting to know them. However, I am still worried that that means I'm going to get attached to them and things are going to go horribly bad. Because you don't know who's gonna go and... Oh, I don't even want to think about it. You know, I'm not even gonna think about it. Guess I'm feeling a little hungry. I better get something to eat before it's nighttime. That's probably a good idea. I should head up to the dining hall then, I guess. What? Oh, this music it scared me a little. I don't know if I like it. All I'm trying to do is go get a sandwich. Please don't have anything happen on the way to me getting a sandwich. Please, I just want to get some food. Don't want anything to happen now. Please. Oh my god, Celeste. Christ, woman, you scared me. Like a oh. demon skulking in the hallway. Well, then, good evening. Celeste, what are you up to? <laughs> what am I up to? I'm simply going for a nice evening stroll. Yeah. Hmm. You know, I was thinking about the rooms belonging to everyone who's left us. I would very much like to know what's going on in there. But it seems their doors are locked. Must be another one of Monokuma's little tricks. Sometimes he gets hung up on the weirdest stuff. I wonder about that. Do you think so? It seems that's merely him displaying his passion towards the production of this killing game. I guess you're not wrong. <laughs> anyway, I shall resume my excursion. If you have some time, you're welcome to join me. Oh, that's okay. I hope you are well. Yes, very well. Goodbye. Um, people s- Chihiro, you're alright over there. Oh, I'm a bit- I'm a bit freaked out now, guys. I'm not even gonna lie. Hi, darling. You alright? You okay? Uh, Makoto. Oh, hi, Makoto. Um, um, this is the warehouse, right? Taka said it had everything we could need, but- 
Are you looking for something? Do you need help? Huh? No, I can take care of it myself. Thank you. Thank you for asking, though. So then... I wonder what she's looking for. I wonder too. She's not in here now, is she? Chihiro? There is food stuff in here, but for now I think I'll just head to the- No, they wants me to go to the dining hall. Alright. Well, is anyone else skulking around here that I should talk to? I wonder. Because unless I find them in the hall, he's probably going to say, I need to go to the dining hall. No? No, just the two girls. Alright. I'll go then. I don't know if this is like a time when I should be going around looking for people. I wonder if the map will tell me where everybody is. Right. It's probably not going to, is it? No. I bet you anything if we tried to leave, it probably won't let us leave, will it? No, nothing. Okay. Okay, well. Even the game is trying to keep me from getting distracted. Which I do very easily, I'm very sorry. Please don't let anything happen in here. I just wanted to get something to eat. And now I'm about to get roped into something like that. Like what? What's happening? Actually, no, I guess I'm already roped in. Uh-oh. What's happening with these two? Are they having a fight? Hey, Makoto, perfect timing. Uh, what's going on? Hey, damn it. Yeah, I got a favor to ask. What is it, baby? <laughs> a favor? I have a bad feeling about this. What are these two up to? Uh-oh. What have you done? Hey, damn it. Yo, come on, Makoto, you gotta be our witness. Witness to what? What? This guy's been talking shit about me since day one, calling me a coward and shit. Oh, I knew it. They're gonna fight. I don't know if I want any part of this. To be fair, I don't know about much about Taka yet, but I think Mondo's gonna kick his ass. You're corrupt! You are a coward! That's why you turn to violence to solve your problems! You. That's why you can't do what society asks of you! Why you walk around dressed like that? Oh, Taka. It doesn't matter how he's dressed. Come on, boy. Huh? That was uncalled for. The fuck you say? Yeah. You dumb shit. Oh, you don't know shit, either you way. Hear me? You've already lost yourself, but you're such a coward you don't even realize it. So what, are you you're saying you're not a coward? You think you're tougher than me? Uh-oh, no, 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 stop Hell this. No. Stop. I know I am. Guys, stop fighting. You wanna fight? Alright, let's throw down. Prove what you got that I don't got. You hear me? I accept your challenge! What? So that's what's happening. Makoto, you gotta be our witness. Oh, I don't like this. Someone's gonna get hurt by accident. I bet you anything that's how it's gonna go. You're gonna uh, throw down? You're not gonna start punching each other, are you? Hey. There's a bathhouse on the first floor of the dorm, right? With a sauna inside. What are you up to? I see. I see. A simple endurance contest, is it? Got it. We're going to see who can stay in the sauna for the longest time I write. That's dangerous as shit. No, no, no. I actually think I might prefer the fighting over that. Piece of shit. Goddamn straight. You could die in a sauna, you guys. You can easily die if you stay in there too long. Please tell me that's not what's going to happen here. And it's going to be an accident and whoever's left standing is going to be on trial. Oh my god, please don't let this happen. Are you guys really going to go through with this? Stop fucking around. Shit, yeah. Yo! He'll be done in a matter of minutes anyway. People like him, without exception, are all talk. You want to throw down? Bring it on. Hell, let's make things interesting. Wouldn't want to win without a challenge, right? Interesting? You mean it's not interesting enough? You son of a We're going to battle with all our clothes on. I don't like this. Ridiculous! That's idiotic! Suicidal! You wanna fight? What, you afraid? <laughs> You're gonna regret this! Stop fucking Shut around! Shut up and let's do this! Oh, you guys! Oh my hey. god, look at this! Mondo. He's gonna towel on his hair! <laughs> Wait a minute, what happened to the no- What happened to the no clothes? Taka's- Taka doesn't have any clothes! Oh god. Mondo's doing it with clothes, please don't let him die! What, asshole? <laughs> Take off your uniform, you know? Oh. Go ahead. I won't judge. Me neither. <laughs> Actually, I'm looking. And you can shut the fuck up and mind your own business. <laughs> I mean, look at you. Oh my god. Your face is all red. What are you, one of those goddamn hot spring monkeys? <laughs> Lol, I love this. Oh my, please don't let them die, though. It just so happens, I was born with a red face. Oh. You don't have to act all big man oh no oh i'm a little nervous now all oh, these two idiots act you say <laughs> i'm still plenty good to go <laughs> i'm so good 
I could eat a steaming hot bowl of soap right now. Let's not do that too, please. Oh my god. Are they okay? I tried to push my concern aside. A few minutes passed. Then a few dozen minutes. Then an hour? Oh my god, please don't let them be dead. Don't you think? It's about time. You gave up. I am nervous. I am so nervous. What about you? You can't even hardly talk. Dumbass. Oh no, oh no. Say whatever you want. I'm still totally uh -oh. good to go. Taka. In fact, I'm starting to feel a kind of cold. Oh boy. That's probably not good. <laughs> I- I'm- I- I, I want to laugh at this, but I'm so concerned. Hey, uh, guys, I know you both want to prove how big of a badass you are, but don't you think you've done enough? Shut up! Oh. <laughs> ah, shit. Oh, I just can't win. Ding dong bing bar- are they gonna stay in there all night? Uh-oh. Guys, we gotta go back. Uh, guys? Uh-oh, we're in trouble. Oh my god. Uh, guys, we have a curfew to hold up. Hey, did you hear that? It's nighttime. How about we call it a tie? Oh no. In a true competition. There's no such These thing as a tie. These two morons, I'm gonna slap them. You win or you lose. That's the only thing that matters. Oh my god. Listen to you. You son of a bitch. <laughs> and then bring it on. I'll, I'll push you right up to the gates of hell. Please don't let them die. The gates of hell, that's not a good place to push someone. Th guys, this isn't good. Yeah, you hear him. Better crawl on your back to your room. I'll let you know how it went in the morning. Then you can start spreading my my legend. Come tomorrow morning, you'll fall down in front of me. Down on your knees. I'll show you where to do it. Whoa, guys, what's happening in there, actually? Uh, can I come in? Big talk from someone who's... Face is about to explode. Oh, oh my God! It says euphemisms the game. <laughs> right back at ya, guys. Okay, well, good night, Makoto. You can just leave them in there. <gasps> oh my God, they're both gonna die in there. I really hope those two don't overdo it, Makoto. You could have done something. I'm sure. To the death? No, surely they wouldn't go that far. Makoto, you moron! You were the only person that knew they were in there! Oh no! How could he have left them? The concern stayed with me as I slowly succumbed to sleep. Oh, I, Makoto, you moron! You are an idiot! I would have stayed. They're dead, aren't they? I can't even handle this right now. Oh, you got a calendar? Oh, it's a booby calendar. It's nice. If fate does exist, does that mean your future is decided the moment you're born? If all your yesterdays pile up to create your tomorrow, is your future as final as your past? These are way too deep of a question coming from a pervy teddy bear. I just don't know. That's why I'm still alive, because I don't know! <laughs> that's why I desperately cling to life! Something tells me that's a lie. Oh my god. Ding dong, bing bong, if I find two dead people in the sauna, I am quitting. <laughs> I am- I'm gonna be so mad at everyone. Ugh. Good morning, everyone! Uh -huh. Get ready to greet- yeah. Oh. Oh my god. Their sweaty corpses better not be in there. Naked and sweaty. I hope Mondo and Taka survive. Makoto, I can't believe you right now. I'm so angry with you. Worried about the two of them, I hurried to the dining hall more quickly than usual. Now you're worried?! There's no way they would've survived it all night?! Oh my god, they're here. <gasps> Jesus Christ. I am ready to cry. <laughs> they're here. God, I was so worried for them. <laughs> what are you talking about, bro? <laughs> are they best friends now? Did I go through all that pain just to have them, like, bond over almost dying in there? These two idiots. What the? Yo. Hey, Makoto. <laughs> Thank you so much for acting as our witness yesterday. <laughs> I just left, though. They should beat Makoto up. You know what? He deserves it. I'm saying. Are they friends now? Uh, They've been like this all morning. They were all buddy-buddy as soon as they walked in. It feels gross. What? Feels gross. Hell no. Feels great. More like, what did you guys do in the sauna and why wouldn't... Makoto, you dumbass. You should have stayed around to watch all that happen. 
Well, they were talking about face exploding and all kinds of other stuff. You are so stupid. This almost feels like sexual harassment somehow. Oh, please, they're both consenting. Leave them alone. Forget her, bro. A girl like her just doesn't get our manly bond. Oh, don't worry, I do that. You hear me? Friendship between men is stronger than blood. A woman could never understand. Ain't that right. So <laughs> what you said, bro, that was cool as shit. I should get a tattoo of it. Without a doubt. No, bro, you must send your body as a temple given to you by your loving parents. Uh, who won the contest? Piece of shit. Who gives a shit? Got it. Yeah, don't ask stupid questions. What matters is we both took part in it together. Th that's completely different from what you were saying last night. I see. Friendship between men seems very simplistic. Nothing like what I'm used to with girls. Right? Uh, yeah, for real. Those morons, I'm gonna slap them for making me worry. All throughout breakfast that morning, the room was dominated by Mondo and Taka's overpowering brotherhood. Oh. Well, I hope there's some doujin about that that I can read later when I'm done with this, because I would like to see that, actually. All in all, it was a pretty unfortunate experience. I'll let them have their fun. Leave them alone. I'm glad they're friends. Mondo didn't seem like he had many friends, and I'm not sure Taka did either, to be honest. What should I do today? Ding dong! Who could that be? Wondering who had come to visit, I opened the door, and someone forced their way in. What? Oh! Hello? Can I help you with something? I didn't expect to see you. Toko, what's the matter? What's your problem? Why are you so surprised? Am I really that annoying? No, not until you just said something. <laughs> well, I already know I'm annoying. I came here knowing that, so that makes it okay. No, you're not annoying. I just wondered what was going on. <laughs> I have a favor to ask. Hmm, okay. I want you to g go somewhere with me. Like where? Where is it you want to go? Well... Well... The library. What? What? Why can't you go there yourself? You've been there before. Huh? Are you looking for a book or something? Why don't you discuss Byakuya? Spends all his time in the library. Is she afraid of him? Oh, I wonder if that's it. That might be it. Did I say something wrong? You're not a blabbermouth, right? This has to be a secret. I honestly have no idea what you're talking about, but if you want me to be quiet, I'll be quiet. Then let's go to the library. What did, did Byakuya do something? Okay, I got it. The library. Jeez, why so pushy? I don't know, but I guess we're going. <laughs> quiet. Be quiet when you go in. Don't let him see you. She actually was starting to get annoying, but I did what she said and gently crept into the library. What's happened? What's going on? He's still in the same spot he was. He's probably slept there for all we know. Unsurprisingly, Byakuya was there by himself, absorbed in a book. He's here. What? <laughs> Uh oh, is she starting to get obsessed with him or something? Okay, Makoto. What? Go talk to him. Why me? What? Stop being so loud. Just hurry up and go talk to him. What is what is going on? You go talk to him if you want to so bad. Yeah, really. I can't. I don't want to interrupt him. Oh no, she's either she's either planning something or she's in love with him. That's kind of crazy. I guess it's me, then. Fantastic. I can't wait for this. Oh. Well, time to get my face chopped off. Hi. Seems to be really focused on that book. It doesn't seem like the best time to talk to him. Hey, you. What are you doing back here? I hate even having to look at you. Oh, so you noticed me, huh? Naturally. Of course. Now hurry up and leave. Hmm. And take her with you. Oh. Well, there goes your plan. I'm out of here. <laughs> I've done all I can here. Mm -hmm. Hey, um, Byakuya? Remember how you said, <laughs> Don't be a woman who dominates weak men. Be a woman dominated by a strong man. What? Wait, what? When was this said? Did I miss that part? Oh. Hmm. I might have done that. I never said that. Well, actually, I just thought it sounded like something you might say. Oh no, was I right? 
get out and go take a bath. You smell. <laughs> she still hasn't showered. That's disgusting. Girl, really though, at least he fucking was honest with you. Come on, get your skank ass back there and take a bath. I'm gonna get one of the girls to drag you in there. Don't make me repeat myself. Don't make me say it again. Go, before your stench latches on the entire room. Okay. Wow. Slick. Yeah. Toko, was that your plan? Because I gotta tell you, it was not good. And I thought I was shitty with the men. Good Christ. Hey, at least I got into Mondo's room. He really dug into us there. Maybe he's in a bad mood. She seems super depressed. Did he really upset her that much? <laughs> Byakya, to go that far. <laughs> he must really be concerned about me. Oh no, she's gone bonkers. Ew, get your nasty ass to the bathhouse now. I'm gonna get Sakura to go grab you and throw you in. Huh? <laughs> he told me to t take a bath and everything. He must really care about my well-being. Um, now you are officially creeping me out. <sighs> hey, Makoto, what do you think? Think about what? Do you think Byakuya and I would be good together? No. And not just because you are really annoying, because he just is- No, he doesn't like anybody. He's one of those people that just don't like nobody. So don't even try it. Go, maybe go for somebody. You know who you should go with? Afumi. He would probably like your crazy little fantasies. Go for it. He probably won't even care that you reek. Because he probably does too, I'm just saying. Uh, well now, I, I don't really know. Maybe. That's true. There's really no way to know. But the distance between us doesn't change our love. Because as soon as you realize your feelings, the love is born. That's how love works. Love also works by you taking a shower. Or a bath, okay? That's how love works. You cannot love someone if you stink. There might come a day when you understand. Maybe. Someday. Look, I got into Mondo's room yesterday. What have you accomplished? Well, bye. Well, I wish I'd never seen any of that. <laughs> Gotta be honest. Oh! <laughs> oh. <laughs> I just jumped in my seat. Ah, young love, will you stop doing that? Oh, God. Who would have ever guessed she would go for someone like him? Well, I can see why the ladies would go for him. But I thought that would really all be over once he started doing that shitty attitude that he gave us the other day. I thought it was all over then. But your passion can also be scary. Sometimes that leads people off in the wrong direction. God, you're right about that. Yeah. <laughs> Bye. All of a sudden, I feel exhausted. I feel like I need a bath myself. And I've already taken a shower today. Maybe I'll head back to my dorm for now. Good Christ. Did that really just happen? God, I need to sit down. I mean, I am sitting down. I need another sit down. There's still some time left in the day. What to do? Free time again! Wow, chapter two is really generous. Um, one thing I wanted to check real quick. Not this. Might be. Um... Oh, well, yeah, look, there's a star. So someone did hint to me that there would be a marker showing that you've done what you needed to do so that I didn't waste time going after people. Oh, Mondo. I'm so glad I got to talk to him. I really hope he gets that carpenter wish of his. Well, now that Mondo's all set, I guess we can move on to somebody else. Thank goodness for you guys, right? But who? Well, I guess it really depends. I don't know where anyone might be. Let's see if the map will tell us this time. Oh, uh, there are those two. It's an unlikely pairing. Mine is in the dining hall. Now, did, can I ask you guys a question? I don't consider this a spoiler, so you can just ask it, or answer it, I should say. When you're done with someone and you get the star, can you still talk to them and get anything additional? Not like during story and stuff. I mean, like, during free time. I guess I wouldn't want to waste free time. But, like, is it still worth talking to them? Well, I'm sure it's just going to be worth talking to them, period, I guess. Oh well. You, I, maybe you know what I meant. Hopefully he'll still- Hopefully he'll still have some more dialogue for me. I really am liking him. I'm assuming though that free time would probably be wasted at this point. Hello Aoi, how are you? Unfortunately it's not you, I want to talk to you today. It's Sakura. Hey. Makoto, I- 
something wrong, darling? What's the matter? Hmm. Actually, never mind. What did you want? Should I talk to Sakura for a while? Yeah, I've been waiting for this too. Very excited. Well, you know, Makoto, you seem a little thin for a man. He's also like 5'3". I'm not trying to shame anyone because I don't care what people look like, but like, he's a bit short for a boy. So, uh, uh, next to her, I'm sure he seems small in all ways. How about I help you bulk up a bit? Is that a euphemism? I'll take it. Whatever it means. Even if it means you slapping me around a little bit. Wait, what? Sakura subjected me to harsh, borderline, cruel training session. Yeah! Makoto, you dog! First we get into Mondo's room, then this? Oh, brother, all in the same episode. Sakura and I grew a little closer today. I would love to give Sakura a present, but what can I give her? Oh, what do you give a lady like that? You know what, I had some ideas too, I was thinking about this. What would she like? You know what I'd really like to give her off the bat? And I don't know if this is right. But I was hoping it kind of was. Where is it? The thing is, do I want to go with the trope that she's not going to like girly things? Because she is a woman after all, too. So maybe she would like something girly as well. You never know. Oh, I'd love to give her this. <gasps> a bouquet for my beautiful cherry blossom. I'm going to do it. There's no way she can say no to this. I'll accept it with gratitude. So Wait. Then. I'll never forget this, Makoto. Did she like it? I can't tell. I get the impression she liked it. That's good. Oh, good. A flower for my beautiful rugged flower. Hey. I suppose I don't mind talking with you a little more. Really? Then can I ask you something? Mm -hmm. What is it? It's about what we were talking about before. You said there's someone out there stronger than you. That's right. We talked to her so long ago, I nearly forgot. Do you want to talk about that? Can I ask? Is it a guy or a girl? Huh. It's a man. The man that Sakura has to surpass? Maybe she's talking about her own teacher. Which would mean <laughs> your dad. What? I'm looking for your dad. Not my dad. Hmm. Uh-oh. Maybe it's, yeah, it's gotta be her father, right? Probably not grandfather. Probably too old by now to put up a real fight, but you never know. You were talking about your dad? Is it not your dad? The family dojo has been passed down from generation to generation for the past three centuries. Three centuries? That's one heck of a history. Mm. I was born into my family as an only daughter. Male or female, doesn't matter. It's my duty to protect our legacy. Wow. So she probably felt a lot of pressure to carry that burden. Does she mean that there were only boys, like, born before her? And because I am a woman, I must be even stronger than if I were a man. I see. Huh. Some would say a woman is incapable of becoming the strongest human alive. I want to prove them wrong. Which is why I subjected myself to such feverish training under my father's instruction. Surpassing my father was certainly important to me. Well. But that was just a matter of time. Have you already done it, then? What do you mean? Hmm. I was 14 years old when I first beat my father in a sparring match. Oh. Wait, well then who is she talking about? After that, I never lost to my father again. Wait, then... Hmm. Yes, I have already surpassed my father. I don't believe it. Well. I'm not sure I did the right thing. My father also had the desire to become the strongest human alive. But I can't look back. I can only move forward and try to claim that title for myself. Wow, that's... that's a lofty goal, but I wish you luck. That is my destiny. Goodbye. Well, that's all for now. That was enjoyable. Goodbye. Without another word, Sakura left me standing there alone. Wait, hold on! I never did find out who could possibly be stronger than her. Oh. Oh well. Did she avoid talking about it on purpose? Sakura's report card has been updated. We unlock the skill breathing technique. All right. Who could she be talking about? I will have to find out more when we can. After we were done, I decided to head back to my room for a while. Do we still have more free time? Oh no, it's nighttime now. Sometimes it gives you a lot of time and sometimes not. Ding dong, bing bong, everyone. Oh boy. Here we go. Oh, here we go. A school announcement. School announcement. Oh, this is different. What is this? Nighttime is quickly approaching. Right. But before it arrives, yes. All students, 
Please gather in the gym immediately. Uh oh, what's this about? Emergency! What? Emergency! Oh no. Gather in the gym? Why now all of a sudden? What's happened? I really don't like the sound of this. I have a terrible feeling. Oh no. Oh no, let's go. Uh oh. There's Kyoko. Kyoko, you're alright. Thank goodness it's not you. Kyoko, did you hear the announcement just now? Indeed. Yes. I don't want to go, but we don't have any other choice, right? Right. I can't imagine it's going to be good news, but it's not a good idea to defy him here and now. Goodbye. I'm going on ahead. I really can't do anything except what Monokuma tells me. It's true. Oh, Mondo's over there. Thank goodness I thought it had something to do with him. Is everyone else around? This seems like a good time to talk to people if I can find them. Oh no, I don't like these parts, they make me feel sick. I guess that's what the game is really supposed to do. So it's good in that respect. Okay. I had to cheer Yo. myself up a little. Yo man, you about to head in? Yeah, has everyone already gone ahead? <sighs> Looks Shit. that way. I don't like it, but nothing good's gonna come from ignoring the goddamn bear. Mondo? You sure you're okay? You kinda went all out in the sauna. What? Huh? Who went all out? That shit doesn't even phase me. Yo. But you know, <laughs> there at the edge of hell, a promise between men was waiting for me. Never saw it coming. Yo. Anyway, let's get our asses into the gym. Man, something unique must have happened between the two of them. I think I know what it was. I'm gonna watch some, uh, maybe watch for some doujin later. I can't do that now. I'm too afraid to search anything about this because I think I'm just gonna be majorly spoiled if I do. So I, I'm not gonna do that until after I've done with the game, but... Until then, I'm just gonna hope that there's some doujin. I bet you there is, though. I mean, you guys can say yes or no if there is. Am I going the right way? I think I am. Um, yeah, you guys can say yes or no. You probably know. Nobody else is here. Everyone else is waiting for me, probably. Let's go. Hello? Fumi, you alright? Hey, Fumi. How come you haven't got in yet? Oh, did I scare him? Why is that? Mr. Nig, you don't scare me like that. Sorry, but we really should go inside. <laughs> no, don't go. You can't go. Mm -hmm. That's what my ghost friend is telling me. I don't feel good about it either, but we can't just ignore this. <laughs> Damn, that's true too. I, I guess we have no choice. I have to go too. Let's go. Hold my hand, everybody. I'm holding yours. Everyone's here. <sighs> I didn't see anybody missing, did you? Asking us to gather all of a sudden like this. What could he possibly want? Well, indeed. What might always us this time? <laughs> <laughs> he keeps things interesting, that's for certain. I'm actually surprised Byakuya came. I guess he doesn't want to go against Monokuma, though. Um... How is that funny? Can't you smell like a normal person once in a while? Like how the housewife on a classic TV show smells at the end of an episode. What the heck? There's something totally messed up with you if you can laugh at a time like this. <laughs> Which of us is actually messed up, hmm? Huh? What's that supposed to mean? <laughs> Nothing in particular, just admiring, that's all. I don't want to kill anyone, but I also don't want to stay here living in blind denial day after day. <laughs> I was just admiring how you could live like that and still keep your sanity. What is this? Not in denial. <laughs> that reminds me, remember how you kept talking about how the police or whoever would come to help us? How'd that turn out? Seems to me there's no sign of whatsoever a possible rescue. Well... That... that's just... Huh? I wonder what actually happened. Certainly. It's strange, that's true. There's no way the police wouldn't know about it. We're right in the middle of a major urban area. What? The police suck! Hmm... On the contrary, the mastermind made just that powerful to take control even of the police. Could it be... Oh, yeah, this might not be related, but... <laughs> then don't say it! Hmm. Uh, no, gonna say it. It's not like some occult mystery. Oh, it's about last night, man. I was near the main hall, just staring off into space. <laughs> you don't say. When all of a sudden, I heard it. Huh? You heard what? Hmm. A sound that uh, I don't really know what it was. Hmm. What kind of sound? Hmm. Oh man, like I said, I don't really know. But if I had to describe it, Could it, be... it was like a construction site, I guess. A construction site? Serious. Yo, I mean, I could be making it up. I only barely heard anything. <laughs> then you d definitely made it up. Must have been that sound of the ocean in that head of yours. <laughs> Say what? What you talking about, Toko? 
What was that? Was that Monokuma? Oh my god, look how big Sakura is. Good lord of heaven. Mercy. It is him. Hello. What's your announcement? Everyone seems to be here. <sighs> He's arrived. <laughs> what Hero heard wasn't the sound of construction, but it could have been an explosion. Huh? Yeah. Or maybe a machine gun! <laughs> that can kind of sound like construction in a way. What are you talking about? What? Uh -huh. Beyond this point, my mouth is zipped, my lips are sealed, I am fully puckered. That's, that's not what, oh. Okay. <laughs> it's a secret little secret. And? Fine, then let's move on to what you can tell us. Why did you call us all here? Say what? You don't beat around the old bush, do you? Ready for me to get to the point, eh? If you but please. before that, you mind if I vent a little? Uh, I'm low on energy these days. My stitching's even losing all its shine and luster. Don't show me your Hank Hill ass. I asked you not to do that. I'm thinking it's probably because this whole hum boring old everyday life. I'm looking for something with a little more stimulation, something rife with danger and intrigue. Yep. Listen, can I just be frank? Today. The I next Blacken hasn't shown up yet, and I'm getting bored. Hey. So I've decided um... to come up with a new way to motivate you. Motivate? Here we go. Is it another set of videos or something? Oh no. Are you gonna show us some deten- Oh sorry, I thought that was him. Are you gonna show us some demented thing to try to drive us all to murder? Yeah. Drive you to murder? What a mean thing to say, just awful! You hear me? I don't know what you've got planned, but we're not going to kill each other anymore. Got it. No matter what you do, I swear to God we won't. Hmm. Well, that's very big talk. Do your very best to back it up, okay? Now then, with your permission, let me begin. So, this time it's embarrassing memories and secrets. Uh-oh. As long as you're alive, it's a given that there's things you don't want other people to know about you. So I did a little investigating of my own, and I dug up some of your darkest secrets. Oh, no. And those embarrassing memories and secrets are all contained in the envelopes I have How right bad could it be, here. you guys? Don't fall for this. Even if it says, like, you like Brazilian fart porn or something, get over it. Who cares at this point? It's either who cares or die. I'm going to hand them out now. Oh, so no. So take a second to take a peek. Great. As Monokuma spoke, he tossed the envelopes at our feet. I quickly snatched the envelope with my name written on it. I nervously pulled out what was written inside. And my entire body suddenly went rigid. What does it say? Makoto wet the bed until he was in the fifth grade. Who cares? It's either that or be killed! Am I, the, am I too old to care about this kind of stuff? I guess teenagers would kind of care more. What? Oh. How? Ah. How did you find out about this? Everyone started talking at once. <laughs> you have 24 hours! If someone doesn't become blackened by then, all your deepest, darkest, most embarrassing secrets will be exposed to the world. Who cares, though? Maybe I'll roll by with a crowded intersection in a van strapped with a loudspeaker and spill the beans. Yeah! Wouldn't that be so embarrassing? So that's what you meant by motivate? <laughs> you got it. They're all pretty unpleasant, trust me. None of you want me to reveal that stuff. Who the fuck cares about wetting the bed, though? Makoto, you got this. It's definitely something I'd rather people not know, but... We'd never kill over something like that. What? Unless someone has one that's worse, which I'm sure they do. What'd you say? Count on it. He's right, your plan is doomed to fail. No one's gonna murder someone for this kind of thing. This is kind of depressing. Oh, they are actually standing up to him. I'm so glad. Oh no. Is it because, for better or worse, your memory is still a way to connect to the outside world? I have stuff I wouldn't want anyone to know no matter what. I assumed you'd all be the same. Which is why I put so much effort into preparing this next motive. <laughs> Man, you're saying you really won't kill each other over this stuff? That just sucks. Well, what can you do? Okay then, in 24 hours I'll expose all your secrets just to make myself feel a little better. Okay. Uh oh, there's probably somebody though that cares, I bet. Oh no. So sad, so depressed, fair not well. Bye. With an almost convincing look of depressed dejection on his face, Monokuma receded into the gym stats. So, um... I didn't know what to expect at first, but maybe we dodged a bullet on this one. I don't think we did. That seemed a little too easy. Um... I mean, yeah, having those secrets revealed is gonna be totally embarrassing. But that's seriously not enough to give someone a reason to kill, right? Listen to me! Good news, everyone. I have a brilliant idea. You hear me? Why don't we all just confess the secrets in those envelopes right here and now? Without a doubt. If we do that, any and all motive for murder will vanish. That's pretty smart, right? I mean, I'm assuming yes. I don't mind. Quiet down and listen! Okay, my embarrassing thing is... 
I don't want to hear your stupid story. What? Besides, I, I don't want to talk about mine. I don't care what anyone says. I don't want to talk about my. Oh no, she's gonna be the one in chain. For me, neither do I. Not because it is unpleasant, but because it is impossible. Oh. Well, it's just human nature to want to hear it when you say it's impossible. Come on, it'll be good for you. <sighs> Absolutely not. Celeste, what could you be hiding? Come on. It's okay, on. just a little bit. Come on, come on. Honestly. As I said... Here we go. Uh-oh, you're going to get slapped, boy? Hey. I said I don't want to talk about it, you human bag of lard! Say what? Uh -uh. I agree with them. There's no need to discuss it. What do you think, Chihiro? Uh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I don't really want to talk about it right now. Chihiro, what could you possibly be hiding? Oh, no. But... But I also don't want to leave things the way they are. Maybe I can talk about it later. Did she, like, hack into somewhere important or something? It's probably what it is. You're in trouble. After I try my best to become strong, then I can tell everyone. So, um, if you don't want to talk, you don't have to. I'm not super excited to talk about it either. That's true. If everyone's that much against it, even if my bro's the one that suggested it, I gotta say no. Well, that's okay then. Either way, it's just a few secrets. I'm sure no one's about to kill anybody over it. Oh no. Now that he said that, I hope you're right. A secret so bad you'd kill someone to keep it? Nobody's got something like that, right? Someone does. It's too late. I'm already falling into the pit of despair here. <laughs> All right, I'll stop with all the secret talk, but you hear me? each of us has 24 hours to get ready. Having our secrets exposed isn't going to be fun, but it's not like we're going to die because of it. So you know, don't do anything hasty. The way you keep repeating it makes me worry even more. Oh, sorry. I know it's going to be tough, but... Ding dong, bing bong, we gotta get back. All right, let's go, and I pray no one dies. <laughs> yep. Yep. Bye. Okay, then. Well... Hmm. I guess we're on our way back. Night to Meridi, eh? Oh, okay, let's call it a day. Of course. Good idea. We need to prepare for tomorrow. I wonder what Sakura could be hiding. I was left with anxiety I couldn't shake, but we left things as they were and left things as they lay. One by one, we headed back to our rooms. All right. Secrets or memories you don't want anyone to know about? A way to connect to the outside world? Honestly. All that crap Monokumo was spouting didn't have any effect on me. There's no way anyone would kill over stuff like that. At least, that's what I thought. But maybe I was being optimistic. Which is probably why, without too much of a struggle... Jeez, I'm more tired than usual. Super tired today. Oh dear. I fell asleep. But what I didn't know is even then, a tragedy was taking place. Oh no. Well, I, I hate to do this, but because we're getting an extra Danganronpa this week, um, I'm going to leave it here. So this one, I think, is going out on Friday, so there'll also be one on Saturday. Because Banjo's down to two episodes for the next two weeks. Danganronpa gets the Friday slot. So we'll do that in the next one. Thank you so much for watching, everybody. I am afraid. Obviously, it's time for something bad to happen. We'll see you then.